affords us with the greatest of pleasure to present unto you the man of God, a chief apostle, pastor, and general overseer, next voice, Bishop L. Hunter. Greetings, everyone. This is the church and the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith incorporated. We do sincerely thank God for the glorious privilege uh, that he alone has blessed abundantly that we should come into your hearings again. Uh, that you also may be blessed of the Lord, especially that you can hear and perceive the word of God as it shall come your way. Amen. About God, one great plan of salvation, a plan that everybody throughout the entire world must accept Amen. and obey because God only has ordained and established Amen. one plan. Therefore, there is no one that can alter it or add to it. A man is settled in heaven that there is one body. Amen. That that is settled in heaven. And, of course, also there is one spirit. Amen. If you have another, what type of spirit give you another? have to be a spirit of error. Amen. The true spirit of God says there is one spirit Amen. and there is one body. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling, there is one Lord, one faith, and there is one baptism. Amen. Now we no longer are in the dark. We are in the light now. That light that the prophets prophesied concerning that the path of the just is as a shining light. And it shineth more and more until the perfect day. Well, John said that the true light is now shining. And he says that it shines in darkness. And darkness comprehends it not. Therefore, all the darkness that was throughout the world can't hinder the light from shining. All the darkness. And, of course, the whole world were in darkness Amen. and gross darkness to people. Amen. But now the evening light have dawned. Amen. Amen. We may as well get ready now. Amen. Nobody have any cloak for nothing you do now. Amen. Amen. No cloak for being ignorant. Amen. Being baptized wrong and getting religion wrong and say you're serving God in a manner that the Bible don't give you anything about. Those are dark sayings. And the time of this ignorance and the time of this ignorance, God winked that. But now we are in a different area now. We are in the light now. Now he's commanded all you are in, repent of your sins that you were born in and committed since you are in the world, and then repent of being and believing in the false church, and then be buried in water for the removing of your sin and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, let God take fully control in your life. See, you can't be filled with the Holy Ghost and still want to have your way. Amen. Amen. You have to give up. Amen. Because the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ pleased not himself. Amen. See, he pleased the one that sent him. Amen. He pleased the Father, and the Father is the Spirit. Amen. So we cannot please ourselves. 
ourselves. We have to please the one that filled us with the Holy Ghost. And the word of God, the word of light says, walk in the spirit. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. All right, everybody get ready now because remember God is sending a message your way. Amen. 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 Condemning every false prophet throughout the world from coast to coast. Amen. Doesn't matter how long he has been preaching, no matter how loud he can holler, Amen. no matter if he can sound so loud as thunder. Amen. Amen. If you don't bring it like the former apostles have brought it and documented it and left it on record, yes. amen, we know exactly what to do. Yes. The word of God says, let them be a curse. Yes. That's what you better do to be to your prophet and let them be a curse. Yes. Amen. You can't love the flesh better than you do God. Yes. And many of you people out there love a false prophet better than you do God. Yes. Amen. You, you know you're wrong, but you love him. Yes. Therefore, Amen. The Bible said, God said, I shall have no other God Amen. before me. Amen. Now, when God's word says something and you know you have a false prophet telling you something wrong, amen, and then you're going to follow it anyway because you love the man. You love that man better than you do God. Amen. That's what it amounts to. Amen. All right, in first John. First John, amen, the first chapter, we want to begin, I believe, at the, about the seventh verse. First John, first chapter, and seventh verse. Amen, I want you to look at it prayerfully. May God help you to see it. And help you to understand what all this is about because God is truly, no matter what you say, God is sending this message your way. Amen. I want you people to know every time it's time for this broadcast to come on the air, God is sending it. Amen. And God is speaking. Amen. And you don't have but one thing to talk about. That is soul salvation, repentance, and remission of sin. Amen. You'll be preaching that in the name of Jesus Christ. Repentance and remission. That, that Jesus said should be preached. Huh? Said that repentance and remission of sin should be preached. Amen. Into where? All the world. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Unto every nation. Not that they may hear, but as a witness, then shall the end come. Yeah. All right, John 1. But if we walk in the light, if we do what? But if we walk in the light, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, as he is, where is he? In the light. As he is in the light. People get this, please. There's no man, no in, in human flesh in the world can bring such message. It's got to come from God alone. Amen. If we walk in the light. Same spirit that, amen, John had. And speak through John to speak in that. Amen. 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 Said if we walk, what what caused so much confusion? Amen. Amen. Doctors. Amen. 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 Different denominations, different ways to serve Amen. God. Dark sand. Amen. Amen. Darkness. People not in the light. Amen. If everybody would walk in the word of God as the word of God is written, what would happen? Our fellowship, one with another. Wouldn't be no different denominations. Wouldn't be no division, would there? Amen. 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 You see what brings about division? Darkness. Amen. If we walk in the light, as he is, in the light. Amen. There's no doubt about it. Amen. Amen. You wouldn't have to try to fellowship. Amen. 
nothing will offend you. Because David says, great peace have thee, that love thy law, keep thy testimony, and nothing shall offend you. Nothing. Amen. Ah, what you being offended about? There's nothing in God's word would think offend you if you are right. And if you want it to be right. If you are wrong and wants to be right, the word wouldn't offend you. Nothing would offend you. From Genesis to Revelation. Ah, amen. Thank God because why? Good, good is the word. Every word of God is good. Every word is true. So what is in the word to offend you? I know it will approve you. Amen. Not only you, it will approve us. Amen. Everybody. Amen. When you're wrong, if you don't want to be approved, make sure you're right. It will commend you when you're right. Amen. And it will approve you and rebuke you wherever you're wrong. Amen. And the word of God says, My son despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faith when thou art rebuke of him. For whom the Lord loved, he chastened. You be with that chest time. Huh? Yeah. Something is wrong. Yeah. Then are you bastards? Yeah. And not son. Yeah. If you can do wrong and don't be chastised, that means you're not God's child. Yeah. Don't tell nobody you're a child of God. You are the child of the devil. Yeah. And now what father better have a child and he wants to raise that child? Amen. Right and respectable and know the child going wrong and won't chastise it and reprove it. What father would do that? And he loved his child. Amen. And God loved us better than anyone can love their child. And but he rebuked us and he'll reprove us. The Bible said, whom the Lord loved, he chased. Amen. Don't think because you rebuke of him, he loves you. And he wants your soul to be saved. All right, read out. If we walk in the light, he is in the light. As he is in the light, we have fellowship one with a lover. You don't have to ask nobody to come on in fellowship. No, no. All that believe the Bible said, were to get.